Blake Griffin was a really good clipper. And tonight he makes his return to Los Angeles when the Pistons face the Lakers just downstairs. Pistons, Lakers, for some, the mention of these two franchises brings back memories of the most fearsome playoff matchups in league history. If only we knew someone who played a role in that rivalry. Where do you want to start? With the bad boys staring down Showtime? Or me and my boys doing what no one thought we could? Take your pick, because it's all part of the same story. One of the best rivalries the NBA has ever seen. It feels like ooh, heaven. <laughs> Maybe we should start with a little history, because the Lakers and Pistons first became rivals when they were the Minneapolis Lakers and the Fort Wayne Pistons back 70 years ago. But then jump right ahead to 1988. L.A. is showtime, going for back-to-back -back championships and their fifth title of the decade. But after all those battles with Boston, now Magic, Big Game James, the captain Kareem, and Coach Riley, they have to get past those other dudes, the meanest dudes in the league. That's right, the bad boy Pistons. Zeke, Joe D, the microwave, the worm, Spider, Bill Lambeer, Adrian Danton, and Daddy Rich the legendary coach Chuck Daly. It was a series for the ages, starting with a kiss, but getting hot real fast. That corner, let's go! Kareem, he shoots a 15-foot sky hook and hits it! Isaiah Thomas is hurt down on the court underneath the basket. Isaiah sealed his legend, playing on one leg in game six, but a phantom foul went LA's way. And when it was all over, the Lakers won it in seven. The next year, though, the beef just picked right back up, with L.A. going for the three-peat and the Pistons looking again to bring the first title to the D. Between the legs, a fadeaway. Oh, left-hand hook, and he hit it. That's right, answering the Lakers. It's all hot, baby. And this time out, it was a very different tale. What a play by Joe! Number two, number one, city bad boy. All Detroit, all the way. OK. Now fast forward 15 years, when honestly, the story wasn't too different. The Lakers had the biggest names in the game. Shaq, Kobe, Phil, plus the mailman, and one of my idols, the glove, Gary Payton. And we just had a team that knew how to play team basketball. She, Rip, Big Ben Wallace, the Prince of the Palace, Tayshaun, Coach Larry Brown, and yours truly. Everyone expected L.A. to win their fourth title in five years. And the big fella lover in, go for it. Oh, yeah, baby. No one expected us to do what we did. Oh, oh, he got it. The palace is rocking. The Lakers are reeling. A gentleman's sweep, a 4-1 route to win the championship. Mr. Big Shot has turned out the lights on the Lakers. So, yeah, the Lakers might have 16 championships, and the Pistons might just have three. But head-to-head, -head, Detroit's got the 2-1 edge in the finals. And how could you say anything else matters more? All of those names, all of those battles, and most of all, all of those bragging rights. Speaking from personal experience, let me assure you, they stay with you for the rest of your life. I that was love nice. all of that, that so much. That gave me chills, Chauncey. <laughs> you I, like that? I like, I like that.